so this video is just to make you excited and if you are then just walk through this video and i'll make sure that i won't let your excitement go down so hello everyone i find tech here and let's see what is their all new in the new ios 14 as we know apple is already working on the next update to the ios operating systems that run on the iphone ipad and ipod touch now we still have months to go until ios 14 is officially released but an early test version of the software has leaked giving us some idea of what to expect from the next update of ios 14. there are still hidden features and functions that we don't know about as ios update often includes hundreds of tweaks and new features but a few of the key features has been unveiled and i'll show you all these features in this video so meet ios 14 the next generation of ios with tons of new features like widgets on the home screen unsend iMessages, third-party wallpaper support new ar support for accessibility offline support for suri ar maps new call screen ui and all of these features coming to you this fall 2020 so watch this video for a sneak peek and stay tuned as there is lot more to come in this video iOS 14 will allow home screen widget options which would allow for the widgets that can be moved around 3D like apps icon on the home screen. Have a look how it will work. Now there are a couple of new features coming for iMessages as well like there is a new slack like mention system that will allow users to tag contact with your name like at the rate Farhan uh, just like you do in WhatsApp and Instagram. So this will be really cool feature when you are chatting in a busy group with your friends. Apple is also working on a feature that would allow the users to retract or pull back an iMessage after sending them but the retraction will be visible to both the parties. Now, typing indicators in the group chats could also be included. 
so that you can see who is typing in a multiple person chat. Apple is working on redesign wallpaper panel for iOS. Now instead of showing all the wallpapers together, user will able to scroll through each collection to find a specific wallpaper more easily. Now this will allow the user to group all the wallpapers of similar type in a single collection and that will make it more beautiful and easy for the user to go through. Also, Apple may be planning to introduce support for third party wallpapers in iOS 14 which would allow users to download any wallpaper which they like from the internet on their iPhone and would be able to install them through the wallpaper section of their iPhones. On the Apple Watch, Apple allows all of the installed apps to be viewed in the form of list and a similar feature could come to the iPhone in iOS 14. iOS 14 will also include a new home screen list view option with three suggestions. Also, the list view will include several different sorting options and other details. For instance, you will be able to filter out applications such that you will be able to see all the applications that have unread notification in a single tab. Now, according to 9to5Mac reports, Apple is working on a new way to offer specific parts of third-party application across the system without needing to have them installed on their iPhone with a new API internally referred to as Clips found in the code of iOS 14. The Clips API will work in direct relation to a QR code reader. So if a user scans a QR code generated by an app that is not installed on the user's iPhone, the QR code reader can directly open a floating card of the missing app giving some functionality of that app to the user so that the user doesn't need to install the app but can use some of the basic functionality of the application. This will also give the option to fully download and install the app on their iPhone. Android also offers a similar functionality in the form of a feature called Slices. Now Apple is also planning to introduce a new augmented reality app in iOS 14. This app will allow users to get more information about the world around them through AR. For example, uh, the app may feature integration with Apple stores and Starbucks where the suggested user could do something like hold up an iPhone in an Apple store to view the product information around him. And that will be very easy for him that instead of asking the support staff at the Apple store that you can just hold your iPhone to a product and get the entire information about it. iOS 14 will also include accessibility updates such as feature that will detect sound like fire alarms, door knocks, doorbells and more for people who have hearing problems. Now this is really helpful in times of emergency when someone who have a hearing problem is alone at home. Now if you use iCloud Keychain very frequently then this update feature is for you. Now in iOS 14, iCloud Keychain will include warning messages as well which will help the user to select a different password for each login. And now the device compatibility, so iOS 14 will be compatible with all the same iPhones as iOS 13 including some older devices which you can see right now. So let me know down in the comment section if your device is mentioned in the list and if you are planning to upgrade to a new iPhone as well. So this is all about iOS 14 so far, all the features that has been leaked and as it says in the beginning of the video. It's bold, it's bigger than any iOS update ever. Let me know your thoughts as well on the features that has been included in this video and I'll bring more videos on iOS 14 in the coming time. So that's it in this video and I hope you like the video and if you do so, do like the video, share the video with your friends and just give a subscribe to the channel as there is lot more to come from the world of Apple. My name is Farhan, this is iPhone Tech and I'll see you in the next one. Till then. Stress safe and stay at home.